Mushroom Peaks punishes players who fill knowledge gaps with random luck. Well, luck is not the cause, and I'll show you proof with easy and advanced ways to overcome its trickiest aspects, including how to do all three mushroom skips with emphasis on speed management and airtime. First, here's how the mushrooms work. Mushroom travel is locked at 73 in every case, and landing on them cancels trick boosts. Only mushroom and panel boosts change speed. The mushrooms have four main bounce heights from the near side. Lowest bounce on the near side perimeter, second lowest on the dip, somewhat high on the center, highest on the near side slope. When you add tricks, you add height, back tilting extends airtime, and forward tilting shortens airtime. Combine these to precisely control where you land. Fewer situations involve the far side. The curved perimeter and slope invert heights with slope low bouncing on the downslope side and perimeter high bouncing on its upslope side. The perimeter also produces buggy bounces. Using inner near perimeter breaks the lock while the perimeter edge bounces high. Now that I've shown how the mushrooms work, here's how not to start a race. You're adding distance vertically for cancelled trick boost, wasting the next boost drifting in the 80s far from the turn 4 mini turbo you can't use with a panel right there. Wheelie off the ramp low and fast to the dip to stay low, avoiding the slope and perimeter. The speedometer maxes on these two direct lines. The moment you leave the ground is when deceleration starts. Tricks travel upwards with a slower boost, so you're really shooting yourself in the foot here. Instead, wheelie over ramps and panels because they'll raise where you decelerate from, but let's say you trick that ramp anyway. You can skip the entire mushroom with good timing, with and without shroom. Neither require TF input. Shroomless works by hopping at the base of the fast trick ramp, creating the height needed. To do it, tap two consecutive hops past the panel to time the jump. The first hop angles toward the turn, but it also ensures sticky wheelies don't cancel hop too. The second hop must be timed to start at the ramp base. If you remember to double hop after the panel, it paces itself out. TF input stands for Totes Factory Input. A drift is set, combined with a fast swing in the opposite direction, adding height to the jump. The first strat using TF input will be Mushroom Skip 1, Cart Method. The ramp hop doesn't work with carts, but there are a few other techs that do. Combined, delayed drift and soft drift reduce charge time. Straighten with an opposing drift to shorten gap distance. Then, as late as possible, set the analog right and slam left fast as you cross the ramp. Extend your ramp boost by releasing your mini turbo before it expands fires, back tilting to stay airborne. It's a good idea to hold Shroom across skip in case things go wrong, or you can just trick straight off the ramp. Shroom midair while still boosting, and you'll continue decelerating from a higher speed. If you fall short, it's because you shroomed after the boost expired. Tricking mid-path without tilting doesn't give height. Tricking off of the dip bounces even lower than that. And third, you're decelerating up the hill into the 60s, so let's fix that. Hop on the ramp and trick slope 1 to low jump off the far slope. At the hill, tilt back over the first dip to float and land smooth. Traveling up the hill center tends to float more often, and the ramp hop stops slope overshooting and lurching. Consecutive tricks add height, not boost, so keep lines tight vertically as well as turn-wise to leave 73 as early as possible. Do so using the top of this slope spot to reach the low bounce areas. Tap drift up to the near right perimeter to land on the nearest pixel of drivable road. This strat can be risky. Blunted by tilting over the dip for a slightly slower, safer jump. Joik's recent BKTs use the Method 1 strat. Method 2 will show Method 1's upward distance adding time in addition to longer 73 travel. To save time, land as soon as possible with the least deviation off a direct path. The wall ride strat takes the most direct path. To do it, wheelie back tilt to the far dip and use up trick. Over the hill gap, set a broad, back-tilted slip drift to maintain speed for the corner. Back-tilt wheelie gives distance, and the wall ride shoots you off this forward edge. To hill glide, you don't need trick boost, but hop if you don't float. Angle mock toward the center to help it glide, and to get a sharp corner skip. Angling with carts or flame runner isn't required. Their drifts aren't fatally sharp. The bike won't grab with accidental side tricks, which is where most of the risk is. The cart version is possible, but high risk. One way raises slow ramp speed with a super mini to get far enough on the dip. This method occasionally breaks the speed lock. You get the super by delay soft drifting from the start platform. The other method uses the mushroom edge to high bounce, but I could never get it to break the lock because it takes more precision. Ramp hopping places the cart farther on the edge. 
The super mini costs time right away and misses the corner skip, but only makes up for it by breaking the lock. The edge strat is based on the tightest line and would be faster than the super if it gets the speed increase, but I don't know if it can. Not like bikes, carts automatically hill glide and fling out of the groove with little effort by the player, but lower speed carts benefit with a soft mini turbo, this one 3 spark frames worth 6 kmh. If you need more charge time, forward tilt a hair without bouncing. Release ASAP for fuller boost, but don't go out of your way for one. Line is more valuable than speed here. This is a good spot to shroom because panels surround and you can raise the slow ramps 50 to high 70s and bypass the 73 lock. Use the turn side dip to stay low and direct on a tight line. Other bounce areas add time with high arcs. Ordinarily, you should avoid air travel because it drains speed below ground travel. Prolong 100 because it's faster than ground travel. Striking beneath the upper mushroom directs you where it points because you hit too far left and rode the wall too early. Skip the risky upper mushroom using the right perimeter to curve around it. It's only slightly slower because you spend less time at 100. And while not as fast, you can cut off more hill by wheelie shrooming off the smooth area. Airborne wheelie back tilting helps tighten rotation toward the panel. Ascending the hill, back tilting also helps ground your back tire so you can wheelie. You're not making it to the first mushroom top because you're too far right and different bikes have their own high or low air properties depending on inputs used. Flame Runner is a low air bike with all regular inputs, so it won't reach the slope or center where it needs to, but it can get enough height and distance with a TF input as it crosses the ramp. Spear is a high air bike as long as drifting and tricking are done separately. The ramp is where its problems are. It behaves the same as other bikes on the trails. Its only low air input is combined drift trick, this being what screws people up. But as is often in compromising situations, drift trick anyway with TF input. For easy upper left, all you do is trick the third slope and the last two slopes. The wheelie adds no speed but decreases falling risk by helping back tilt from the fifth to sixth. You'll only need to tilt across these last two slopes to control where you land. Carts are low air and access with the closest ramp point to the right slope side, but the lower route is great for all low air types. Without wheelies, low air trick slopes 2 and 3. Plot a quick transit with the wheelie to create short, direct jumps. The wheelie boost overcomes the slow ramp and cancels after the first bounce. Other cart bike approaches may differ, but should all be formulated to use Mushroom Force nearside dip to wheelie over the entire green mushroom's flat surface to skip most of Mushroom 573 travel, producing a direct line to 6. Wheelie strength determines what you do after the green mushroom. Example, overshooting to the far perimeter is fast, and faster yet is to hit it back tilted, extending airtime to far slope 7. This small difference in tilt creates a lower, flatter arc. If you do everything just as demonstrated, you won't encounter this. It's player fault in most cases. Maybe you have some catching up to do. If you roll triples up the left path, trick slope 5, forward tilting off the last two centers for their flatter arcs, maintaining 100 airspeed to reduce below 100 ground travel, then shroom before the panel fades to get the most use out of the second mushroom. Mushroom 5 lasts long enough to use both panels as a continuous boost, just really to reduce risk. Starting on the slope sides yanks you around. Being in a back tilted wheelie greatly exaggerates this effect. You're taking a full wheelie and letting it drop crossing the slow ramp, which cuts speed from mid 50s to 50s and drops you too low on the slope. Speedometer slaughtering occurs trying to wheelie down the center. Your mushroom runs out because you fired it on the high bounce slope and spent the entire boost window in a high arc, or because you shroomed too early. Recognizing that, you can save yourself a disastrous respawn. This is the main shroom spot. This too has a specific pattern, mainly jumping from slope to slope. Align to the left of this stem silhouette for consistency and reset your wheelie on the panel so that it drops after the second mushroom, holding back tilt over the first two slopes. Then nudge left on the indicated slope sides to the drivable dip, landing left of Six's center to set up a tight turn off the last mushroom. Shroom off the center late and low, drifting off the perimeter before the boost ends. Forward tilt to tighten your landing drift. The key is to land slightly left on Mushroom 6 to angle for 7 center. Wheelie strength determines whether you trick or not. Maybe you get too low of a bounce. Try hop tricking for extra height. The card version is to trick closer to the center because of their lower speed. Careful not to land fully back tilted to stay controlled. After the green mushroom, align to use center right slope 8 to accommodate outside drift. From there, forward tilt to drift tightly to center 9. Sustain one drift across the last three platforms and counter correct at touchdown. 
By initiating a back tilt to drift, you'll lurch past 9th center. Car or bike, avoid back tilting the slope sides. The right route is considered the hard route for good reason, and that's because it's possible shroomless. For that, we the cancel about center of platform 6 to use the last 4 right side slopes to catch bigger jumps so you don't overshoot onto a lower bounce area like Mushroom 9's center. Slope 9 will carry you to slope 10. Both sides of platform 5 and ahead of 6 have extra bounce KCL. These are the ones I'm aware of. Factor them in. Don't trick on the one after Mushroom 6 and you'll get a big speed and directness benefit. You will clear this section using the first slope, but being too careful about not falling off will result in this extra turn, only to drift on a straight. To avoid the extra turn, you hold Crooked Max Wheelies in the wrong direction, then take too long holding your mini turbo. To balance safe and fast, trick the left slope for a strong bounce off the dip. Re Wheelie within the trick boost to maintain max. You still get that mini turbo, but faster. Don't re Wheelie outside of a boost, you'll never leave the 80s. Avoid the wheelie reset altogether by using the perimeter edge. This is faster because you spend the entire trick boost max wheeling rather than part of it. Above this spot creates a direct line to the edge, but this whole area works. Wheelie to reduce slow ramp speed loss, then cancel it over the spot, throwing yourself to the edge for a buttery line. The wheelie cancel is so you don't lurch sideways. Mushroom Skip 2 is a precision strat where you're not just hitting a specific spot, but sloppy landings and too much air cancels out the effort. To get the correct amount of height, use this far corner without striking the edge. The way to reach it is to wheelie slightly leftward, pointing you toward land. Back tilt allows you to reach the farthest part of the corner. However, avoid the edge. It throws you and a chunk of your time straight up. To get the cart to jump far enough, combine its super mini with ramp hop. Reaching land shares similar difficulty with bikes, but carts more easily graze the off-road strip. Finish the strat with the super mini turbo. Align facing land and crank left as you hop, increasing your angle. These two steps might not be necessary, but I suggest the hop because the one hopping on the left jumps higher and lands above the spot. This works if you hop close enough. One mushroom should do three things. Shroom well behind the ramp for 120, 70s across it, sustaining 100 off the perimeter to replace some of your 90s wheelie. At this distance, the entire shroom can be used. You can use the edge or perimeter for this one. Just avoid using the dip. By shrooming after the ramp, the 50s drops you further back. You won't get far wasting your mushroom boost. You're adding seconds and letting everyone pass you in a giant arc for a worthless trick boost. Wall bashing solves this problem. Just back tilt to land on your back tires so you don't bounce. But wall tricks are faster until you get trapped in a backwards loop. This happens because the direction you point touching the wall is your direction sent. Low up tricks throw you backwards because the backflip points backwards first. Up trick higher so it has time to flip forward when it hits. And you'll get that smooth landing. The high tricks are all slow, inefficient, and risky, such as high down trick. High right points toward the track center, kicking you likewise, but high left on right walls stalls by conflicting with the forward boost. Low left opposes high right into the center, showing that tricks and heights oppose each other. The smoothest way to get low tricks is to approach the hill slightly slanted and close to the grass, and optionally nudge into the wall. If misaligned or think you'll high trick, mitigate disaster with side trick. Up trick is slow and risky, but it's the only good high trick. Just remember, high up. Low left trick doesn't stall on left walls, making it the main side trick done on mirror. Low right is for right walls, but should be a backup option due to press weight accidents. Down trick is the fastest, lowest risk option because the left weighted press on the d-pad accidentally strikes the left button. For carts, it's slower to trick the hill. Trick boost, override, panel boost. You see that both contact the panel simultaneously, but observe the panel boost and go slipping ahead at 115. That's why you see Diddy Mach with 119 trick boost wheelies, but 120 panel wheelies. You should know this for Mushroom Skip 3. On 150cc, drifting boosts are closer to the 120 cap, so mini turbo chargers that appear while boosting are faster to use when the boost wears off. Fill this whole non-boost gap with mini turbo, not part of it. On 100cc, the wheelie is faster, but why? Because 100cc wheelie speeds are too low to reach the 120 cap, so they receive the full 10-point panel wheelie boost instead of 150cc capping them at 5 or less. If you shrunk on 150, instead of embracing bad luck, you can just hop trick off the ramp edge with back tilt. 
Don't trick off the last ramp. Drift off the far right side to turn tightly and forward tilt to shorten your fall over the dip, low bouncing onto the panel. To do a low ramp drift, time the hop to land on the ramp edge and you'll save some time. Tricking off the mushroom blunts your curve. There's no point when the panel is right there. If you get a perimeter bounce, back tilting tightens your curve. And if you respawn, re-wheelie while panel boosting to preserve max for a good recovery. I call this a non-boost gap. Fill it with a delayed soft snake to charge a faster mini turbo. Redrift mid fall to tighten and drift cancel where best aligned. Soft snake to get two mini turbos. Now here's how to do mushroom skip three. Due to the dominant trick boost, your landings really need to be clean. Start wide to avoid landing in the grass. For height, TF input right leaving the ramp. Release drift late in the trick to a line and increase airtime with back tilt, landing four tilted to twist toward the line. Wheelie as immediately as able because your lower drifting trick boost overrides its higher speed panel boost. Don't spend time lining up at that speed. This demonstrates why you need to perfect this risky strat before attempting at a race. The benefit is little and won't be much stronger with Daisy's capping trick boost. Make it clean. Inputs for the cart version are identical, but its drift gives it a nicer exit angle. Tighten your landing by opposing your drift. It makes no sense to go out of your way to do the skip, but then not snake. So snake. Despite the cart skip touching some off-road and taking on the lower speed trick boost, it appears to save more time relative to the bike skip due to exiting the turn more tightly, but also because its mid-air mini turbo release extends the ramp boost, allowing it to reach land at that angle. Not sure if it's best used above. Mushroom Skip 3 is considerably risky, but with a shroom, you can save more time by chaining it with the ramp boost using the perimeter. Wheelie a touchdown to stop 100 airspeed from decelerating past its max. Here's what you can expect. If you have a shroom, use it in place of the Mushroom Skip to get a similar result with much less perfection requirement and risk. I hope the examples and explanations given have made clear that Mushroom Peaks comes down to player knowledge. When you understand Mushroom and general physics, you'll find that navigating tracks with similar features is nothing about luck, less about memorizing trick order, more about ordinary trial and error, consistency, and using good judgment.